Have you ever found yourself driving home from work, pulling into your driveway, and then realizing you don't remember parts of the drive? Or reaching for your phone dozens of times a day without even thinking about it? These automatic behaviors aren't just random, they're habits, and they're deeply wired into your brain. Imagine if you had to consciously think about every step involved in driving a car or brushing your teeth. You'd be mentally exhausted before your day even gets going. But how exactly does a behavior become automatic? This is where the habit loop comes in, a concept popularized by Charles Duhigg in his book, The Power of Habit. The habit loop consists of three elements, a cue, a routine, and a reward. Let me break this down. The cue is the trigger that initiates the habit. It could be a time of day, a specific location, an emotional state, the presence of certain people, or a preceding action. All of those can be cues. For example, finishing dinner might be a cue to check your phone. The routine is the behavior itself, the habit that you perform. This might be scrolling through social media, having a snack, or going on a run. The reward is what makes the habit worth repeating, and it's the payoff that tells your brain, remember this pattern, it's worth doing again. This could be the pleasure of sweet food, the endorphin rush from exercise, or the dopamine hit that you get from seeing new notifications. So let's use a common example to illustrate this, checking your phone. The cue might be feeling a moment of boredom or hearing a notification sound. The routine is picking up the phone and checking your messages or social media. And the reward is the small hit of dopamine that you get from seeing the new information or the social connection. With each repetition of this loop, the pathway in your brain becomes stronger and the behavior becomes more automatic. Eventually, you find yourself reaching for your phone without even making a conscious decision to do so. This brings us to an important point. Your brain doesn't distinguish between good habits and bad habits. From a neurological perspective, the process is exactly the same, whether you habitually drink water throughout the day or habitually reach for a cigarette when you feel stressed. Your brain is simply trying to automate behaviors that it perceives as rewarding or beneficial in some way. This value neutral aspect of habit formation is important because it explains why certain habits, especially those involving dopamine rich rewards can be so hard to break. 